in this video we're going to take a, a look at an issue that I thought was Grafana. I think I mentioned it on a previous video. And it seems that it's not. It seems like it's an actual issue with InfluxDB. And, and this is what you get. So I've just restarted my um, Raspberry Pi Zero. And I keep getting this, this error message here. And the other thing that I had, if I went into my um, terminal and typed in flux, it would come up here with an error message saying um, unable to connect to um, port 8086. Um, please check that service is running. Of course, the next logical step is to try and start InfluxDB manually with, with this command here, sudo systemctl start InfluxDB. You click enter on that, it's going to work on mine because um, I've fixed the issue. But what would happen is you would um, have a pause of about 10 seconds and then you would have a error saying influx db timeout and what we're going to do now is show you how to to fix that so to fix this we can go in and find the influx db service um, and to do that we use the command sudo nano because that's nano is a you know text editor not nano with a zero with an o and then we need to know where the uh the file is uh, is stored so just make sure because I've cut and pasted there and got too many spaces in so it should only be one space so we're going to edit this influx DB service um, file okay and you can see here I've already done it so if I um, show you what it looked like originally so, so it had this type forking command it's really close to saying something else then, sorry. Um, so let's rem that out by putting the hash and then we can do control X to, to exit, save, yes, and hit enter. Now we need to force that to um, uh, put the, the new commands into the system control. So so it's going to run this, uh, this tool here. I'm not too sure what it is, but when it does that, it will ask you to to log in here we go so um pi so this is your normal login for that you've you set up as part of you doing your image uh once it's done that i i tried to to force the the start manually because um, don't forget we've got it to to start um automatically that sort of didn't work i think it's got to read these services during a re reboot so i did a reboot so sudo reboot so I've done the reboot and it looks like the issue is, is still there but just give it a while because it seems that the influx DB service takes a bit longer to, to start up than the node red so there was a slight moment of, of panic there uh, while I waited for the influx DB service to start but it just seems that node red boots up quicker than InfluxDB. I don't know why that is, but it does get going. And you can see here now that um, this was my last error message. If it's still doing this after three to five minutes, it, it should have booted up after about a minute. And this is also down to, you know, the processing power of the Raspberry Pi Zero. And this is why we don't put the desktop version on, because it takes even longer to boot up. But um, yeah, it seems to be going okay now, so if I clear all those, I've got no more errors coming through. And I can now see my, my data is arriving in Grafana. I click refresh, uh, everything's coming through nicely. So the Grafana dashboard is actually connected to InfluxDB. So if InfluxDB wasn't working, then I would have no data come in here, but more importantly, I would have all of these error messages here as well on Node Red. So Influx DB is sat in the middle of Node Red and Grafana. So everything is working. So hopefully we won't come across any more issues. 
on this 32-bit version. But thanks for your patience, and um, I hope this was useful. Don't forget to click on the notification bell because there's quite a few more of these videos coming out. But for now, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.